The nation's largest retailer, which is Walmart, is complaining that it's the victim of a low blow in a new documentary. Here's NBC's Dawn Fratangelo. A media blitz is underway about Walmart and from Walmart. The special interest propaganda machine. Robert Greenwald's documentary is a scathing look at how Walmart pays low wages and harms small business. I had to uh, borrow money to put in the stores and with the farm as collateral, it went down from there. So we had no recourse but to, to just close them up. Even before its premiere, Walmart's firing back claiming the preview has errors. If Robert Greenwald makes three errors in three minutes in his trailer, just how many errors should we expect in his full-length video? I think that rather than shoot the messenger, they ought to be trying to fix the problem. In the last week, Walmart has also announced changes to improve its bruised image, programs to better protect the environment, and a lower price health care plan for its employees. But critics call it a publicity stunt. It's not a good value for workers. That plan has a thousand dollar deductible. So groups like Wake Up Walmart, funded by unions, are using print and television ads the to promote the film. Here in Chicago, home to all kinds of retail stores, you won't find a Walmart. Not yet, anyway. After years of strong opposition, the retail giant finally won approval to open a store here next spring. Rosetta Brown works for a store outside the city. Even after eight years, she has to rely on food stamps and Medicaid. It just says to me that Walmart doesn't care nothing about nothing but greed for them. Rosetta has seen and applauds the documentary that will premiere in two dozen theaters. Supporters plan to show it in private homes and town halls across the country. Three strikes. They also expect some competition. More media blitz from the nation's biggest retailer. For today, Dawn Fortangelo, NBC News, Chicago.